a quote unquote journalist posting and then deleting a tweet where he appeared to fantasize about the death of Supreme Court Justice Sam Alito. Yeah, Vox editor Ian Milheiser wrote a pre-written obituary for the judge, which reads in part, Justice Samuel Alito, who died on, fill in the blank, was not devoid of any positive traits. The problem is that Justice Alito was indeed one of the Republican Party's leading Supreme Court advocates, but he embraced this role while he was a sitting justice. Joe Concha, Fox News contributor, joins us now. Joe, good morning to you. You know, some people are saying that this post was was dangerous others say that it's just plain mm. weird where do you stand on this oh if I owned Vox or I was its editor-in-chief I would have this uh, he calls himself also a senior correspondent in addition to being an editor I would have him suspended immediately I would even consider firing him uh, it, it was just earlier this summer when a man was charged with the attempted murder of Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh and then this guy decides to put this sort of rhetoric into the public domain where it has no place whatsoever this writer should just quit pretending to be a journalist and just go work for Occupy Democrats or, or go work for AOC. If you look at his Twitter feed, it's that toxic and that overwhelmingly partisan. But Vox is not going to do anything here, and very few in traditional media are going to admonish this in any way, shape, or form because he's a member of the club and may tacitly agree uh, with this sort of rhetoric, which, again, I, I just, we, we've gotten to the point now where we're putting up obituaries of Supreme Court justices that are still very much alive, and that's all okay. No, it's not, actually, if you're a member of this industry. It's sick. It's not funny. needs to be called out. Meantime, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis yeah. declining an invite from The View to appear on the show. Here's what the DeSantis press secretary said. Quote, The View emailed our office on Friday asking for us to arrange an appearance from Governor DeSantis on the show. We would be honored, they wrote. Thoughts? Question mark. And then uh, just to remind you, here are some of the lovely things The View's hosts have said about Governor Ron DeSantis. They've called him Death Santis, a fascist and a bigot. That was Sonny Hostin just last month or June yeah. of 2022. DeSantis' policies are anti-black, anti-gay, anti-LGBTQ community. That was Anna Navarro back in April. And this one's nice from Joy Behar. DeSantis is a negligent, homicidal wow. sociopath. What with friends like that, you know? <laughs> but all joking aside, Joe, did DeSantis make the right call declining this interview opportunity, or should he have confronted them? Oh, I think he's a trailblazer here, Todd. Uh, no conservative or Republican should go anywhere near The View, all right? It, it's not the show that it was even six years ago, and certainly not what Barbara Walters had envisioned and had led uh, for all those years uh, when she launched it 25 years ago. Look, strong opinions, perspectives, that's one thing. Unhinged, reckless, unfounded personal attacks, quite the other. I mean, Joy Behar, you literally brought her up, literally suggested that Ron DeSantis wanted to put his own political ambition ahead of the health and safety of children, as in killing them. And, and when you're a conservative on the show uh, and, and your name is Ana Navarro, you're not really a conservative because she's the same person who voted for Joe Biden and voted for Ron DeSantis' his opponent when he ran for governor. So, no, you can't call yourself a conservative. So, you know, unless being ambushed is your thing and debates not based in fact or reality but are based in personal smears, then by all means go on that show. Uh, but if you're actually sane and sober, you stay far away from because at this point, there is zero upside except giving them ratings. Yeah, I, I, I understand where DeSantis is coming from, especially given the wonderful things that, Todd, you, were, you had to read, <laughs> so but touching. what they had to say about yeah. him. I don't know if anybody would be very comfortable walking into that situation. Joe, you're always welcome here. Yep. We would never talk ill of you. Thank you so much for joining us. Carly, you're like my best friend. You know, if we were on an island and there was only, you know, and, and there was only one way to get off, right, one raft, uh, after uh, I got off, I would speak so warmly of you and say <laughs> how fond I was of you. Joe Concha, so, so thank you for not that. a sociopath until that answer. Joe, thanks.